Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how can we move a WordPress website from one domain to another domain without using any tools or without using any third party plugin or software. Okay, so you can see that this is the um, domain from, and this is the website, WordPress website. Basically, I would like to move this uh, website to another new domain called Android so this is the domain where we will move uh, this uh, WordPress website alright so to do that I need to log into the first uh, cpanel of that website ok so first I need to log into the cpanel of the first website which is platinum is fashion ok so I am going to the cpanel and I am going to create a zip of all the containing files and folders ok So this is the cPanel you can see that uh, of the Platinum is Fashion uh, website. This is the cPanel. I am going to File Manager. Public HTML. And going to select all and compress. Zip archive, compress ones. Now I have to download this file from front end or also I can download it back end. I tried uh, to download uh, the wordpress.zip file from the back end before but I got slow internet connection. So this is why I am uh, this back end thing is slow. If I you download it from front end you can go to platinumist.com w o r d p r e s s dot o zip so this is the zip file name i'm going to press the enter button and i'm going to download it okay so download completed i am now going to open it the folder so basically this is the folder where the file was downloaded compressed this is the file okay so now we have to create a backup of the database okay so I am going to PHP my admin from this panel we need to select the database so this is the database you can see here so we, I need to export that so I'm going to click on the export button, export tab and go. Here you go. The database uh, is being downloaded. Alright. Now we have done the basic things we need to do in the first website. Now I'm going to the cPanel of the second website which is AndroidRadioPlayer.com. Uh, sorry, AndroidCarPlayer.com. All right. So this is the uh, cPanel of the second website or second domain. So I need to go to File Manager. Then go to Public HTML and upload. I'm going to select the file which was downloaded a few minutes ago I'm going to select wordpress.jip sometimes it take a few time few minutes to upload alright guys so we have successfully uploaded the file I'm going to back sorry ok so now I have to extract this zip file 
I'm going to click on extract and public statement. Extraction completed. Now I'm going to delete this file, zip file I mean. Alright, also I can delete this folder also because it's empty. Alright, so now we have to open the WP config.php file. And give change, change the database name and username, password, and the MySQL host. Okay. So let's do one thing first. Let's import the database first. Then we will back to the WP config file again. All right. I am going to MySQL database wizard. Create a new database. I am giving its name new. And username is user. Password, I am going to generate a password. So this is the password. This is the default password. And create a user. To click on all privileges. Next step. I am going to copy these things. The username, password and database name. Okay, so I am going to open notepad plus plus or you can op, uh, use any not uh, text editor. I like to use notepad plus plus for such small things. So I am going to paste this. This is the username. This is the pass. This is the database name and this is the password. Sorry. And this is the password. Okay. Now we can copy the username and back to the editor. This is the username. This is the password. This is the database name. And this is the password. I have replaced all the things I need to replace in the uh, wpconfig.psv. Now I am going to click on save changes button. Okay. Now we can go back to the C panel again and so what we did? We did uh, actually we imported all the files and folders from the older uh, file manager to the newer file manager first. Secondly, we created a new database for the new uh, domain. Third we have replaced the username and password in the wp config.psp file the last thing we need to open the database which was we downloaded a few minutes ago so this was the mysql database i'm going to open it with notepad plus plus and i need to find and replace all the URLs. Okay, so I'm going to click on find and I need to write the old URL here. Okay, so 
this was the old URL. I'm going to copy this. and replace with the new one this is the new one so i'm going to click on replace all so replace completed now i'm going to save this now we have to import this database to the new cpanel so i'm going to php my admin from the new uh, cpanel you remember a few minutes ago we created the new database so this is the database and we need to import the edited database so i'm going to click on import choose file then download and this is the edited mysql file i am going to click on the go button uh, we are waiting here uh, to complete uh, the uploading process of the mysql file or, or the database It is taking uh, longer than expected. Okay, we have successfully imported the, the tables uh, from older database to the newer database. I guess so. I think we we are almost done. Let's test. Okay, so I am going to click on AndroidRadioPlayer.com. I guess so. You can see that. We have successfully copied the mm, files and the WordPress is working except one thing so you can see here the 404 okay so now we have to log into the new site okay. admin So I have used the username and password of the older set. Just keep a note. Okay, so we have successfully uh, logged into the dashboard of the newer site. It's looking awesome. I'm feeling good. Okay. Now we have to go settings, permalinks, and just. Uh, change the permalink settings to postname and save changes all right so it's time to final test i am going to visit this site and every link should work properly now so thanks guys for watching this video